read now the news events. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about the gold production growth has plateaued, right? Um, so the gold mining industry is struggling to sustain a production growth as deposits of the precious metal become increasingly difficult to find. And this is from the uh, World Gold Council. This is not just some random report. Yeah. So next, if you look at the chart by uh, WGC, you can see clearly that the 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 mine production effectively plateaued between two thousand sixteen to two thousand eighteen. So around here, you see going up, it's trying to flatten. And then since then, it has plateaued already right over here. Now, in year 2023, last year, mine production increased by a mere 0.5% compared to the previous year. So I'm referring to this one only, yeah? This, this 2003 compared with 2022. So it's just a mere... 0.5%. So in the fourth quarter of uh, 2023, declines in mine production from Mexico, Russia, Mali, and the US contributed to a decrease in global output. Although there were increases in production from mines in Turkey, Papua New Guinea, Canada, and Burkina Faso, these gains were insufficient to offset the declines. Oceania, overall Oceania, was the only region to report year-over-year -year growth in the fourth quarter with an increase of just one ton. This growth was driven by slightly higher production in Papua New Guinea, the Liher, and New Zealand, Wah Wahi, Wahi, sorry. All other regions are expected to record year-on-year -year declines in quarter 4 to 2023, with Africa and Central and South America experiencing the most significant drops at 6 tons and 5 tons, respectively. Now, the World Gold Council also noted that the commencement of production at 4 new mines with a combined annual capacity of over 13 tons. This includes Sleeping Giant in Canada, 1 ton, Bao Gold Project in Malaysia, 3.6 tons, Tuvatu in Fiji, 2.4 tons, and Belleville Gold in Australia, 6.2 tons. Now, gold mining costs continue to rise in quarter 3, 2023, and this is according to the World Gold Council, the latest quarter for which data is available. Now, though there were signs of a slowdown in cost growth, the average all-in sustaining costs reach a record high of 1343 per ounce in quarter three. So uh, if you want to know the current floor for gold, this is the floor, right? So uh, as you know, it doesn't go and hit there, touch there. So there's always a buffer in between. So at least you know right now what's the, the current uh, sustaining cost. So uh, technically gold... Uh, could not go, can't go below this value at the current moment already. Yeah. So the plateau in gold production is expected to continue as major gold product producing regions face challenges in expanding their output. Despite some technological advancements and explorations efforts, significant new discoveries have been limited. So when you can't have the gold from the ground, what's next? So Obviously, recycling of gold has increased, partly offsetting the production shortfall, but it is unlikely to fully compensate for the lack of new mine gold. The plateau in production combined with sustained demand from central banks, investors, and the technological sectors, particularly with the rise of AI and other advanced technologies, is likely to keep gold price elevated. The average gold price in quarter 1, 2024 reached a record of 2070 per ounce and that has shown significant resilience despite economic fluctuations that we have seen so far. So several scenarios suggest varying impacts on gold prices. In the soft lending economy scenario, gold prices might remain relatively flat or experience slight declines. But I don't expect it to decline really a lot. However, in a hard lending scenario, 
where economic conditions worsen significantly, gold prices could rise sharply as investors seek new safe haven assets, right? So anyway, in summary, while gold production has seen regional declines, the overall market conditions for gold remain relatively stable, supported by economic factors and central bank activities. Now, this stability is likely to continue to make gold viable investment and economic stabilizer in the coming years, okay? So later on, uh, when it comes to the charts, I'll let you all know in the longer term uh, where can we look into the gold as well, okay? Um, given that the the oh, the well, just now which I mentioned, all right, the the uh, the average all in sustaining cost right at one three four three, but there is always a buffer, so we technically we can also see you know um you know where can go go later on. Okay, so that's the uh, report for today. Now, let's move on to the charts.